This is a day that the Lord has made. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa. It's Monday. Do what we gotta do to make it happen. Of course, for me, I start with prayer. Prayer is the most important thing to have motivation, to be able to conquer anything. I hear the sirens, okay. This is Monday, the day after Mother's Day. How was your Mother's Day? How did you spend your time? I tried to make the best of it, but I was sad, I'm not gonna lie. I slept in till about almost nine, which that is my sleeping in time for me now that I'm older. <laughs> in case anyone is wondering, I'm using this to hydrate my skin and then i'm going in with vitamin c and copper peptide make a cocktail oh i colored my hair look 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 i wasn't going to and then i told myself i need to feel good today because i know i'm gonna be in my feelings for more than one reason I colored my hair first thing. You know, of course, after going to the bathroom and while my hair was, you know, having to wait. Did some um, special skincare that I normally wouldn't do using a scrub. And then um, I was listening to service on YouTube channels, search on YouTube. Then I decided, let me go, let me put on my dog clothes. Y'all, I'm not really a dog person. Used to be when I was young. So I have one set of clothes that I put on when I really want to play with the dog. Went out there and I actually sat on the floor because I was feeling sad for him. I'm like, he was taken from his mom. I sat out there until he got tired. Of course, I fed him, gave him water brushed him until he just laid there because he didn't want to play anymore. And then I came inside. At that point, my son was actually awake. Usually I'm trying to wake him up on Sunday. I don't let him sleep in on a Sunday. He surprised me. He came into my room, laid on my bed while I was like putting on my makeup and stuff. Okay, is this done done? There we go. He's like, Mom, let's do whatever you want to do today. I wanted to go to watch a movie. We watched Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I picked the longer movie on purpose to make the experience last longer. I'm not sure what I really thought about it, but we watched it. And then came home. And my brother offered to buy me dinner, but I was feeling like eating homemade tortillas. So I made my own dinner. Did go and treat myself to an ice cream from Dairy Queen. <laughs> it was good, it was good. I cannot complain. And y'all, about a week ago, I forgot to tell you. You know, I live in Arizona and I had to break out with my clinical strength deodorant it is getting hot and we're not even the temperature isn't hot but it just feels so hot I'm going to be indoors for the summer I'll say that <laughs> I don't know if I plan on going anywhere <laughs> where is the lid for this what did I do oh there you are another thing I did yesterday I don't know if it looks like I still have eye makeup on because I did go a little bit extra with my makeup. I was having fun. I decided to put on my L'Oreal Hyaluronic Serum Foundation. Very lightly, just like right where I feel like I needed to cover some spots. Just because it was a special day. I actually enjoyed it. And even at the end of the day, it still looked really good. I decided that it looked good because I'm taking care of my skin and my pores are tighter and smoother. So it did not look like I had any makeup on. That is the difference. Oh, 
I'm gonna keep doing my glycolic acid every few nights. It's supposed to take away like the dead skin cells. And I'm going to just keep doing everything else I'm doing. That way my face is always ready for foundation. So yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to share with you guys. Remember, if you've been watching for a while, you will know that I experimented with a lot of concealers. Not a huge amount, but what I could afford. And I ended up with, I think, three or four different shades of this brand. I ended up keeping this because this works for me when I'm not tanned. This works for me when I am tanned. So I'm glad I did not throw this away. I was going to, but I kept it. It's a beautiful formula. It has also has caffeine in it and antioxidants. Even when I wasn't necessarily taking care of of my skin the best it still went on really nice it does not go into creases it does not look like you have concealer on between that and my Maybelline eraser concealer those are my two favorites and thankfully I have a good shade match finally but it was a journey I was buying concealers if they were inexpensive and trying them out a lot of times I got the wrong color but I could tell with the formula if it was going to be good for me or not whether I wanted to try to get the right color so yes those are my favorites and i have been using the eraser one since i was in my 30s it still works for me i'm just gonna do a light layer of mascara this is a true tubing mascara y'all if you're wondering. It comes off in tubes when you're removing it and it will not smear all day long. The only time I see flaking is if I didn't remove it from the day before so there's leftover residue. I think that's all I'm going to do today y'all. And I slept with my hair in one of these one of these types of ponytail holders because they're not going to like crease your hair or anything like that and so i hope to do another side deep side part and it'll look good maybe i will curl up my eye Anyhow, I had to get on and let y'all know how my Mother's Day went. And I want to know how your Mother's Day went. And my son gave me his time. I ended up not going to get myself a gift. We were at Target the day before on Saturday because I was getting my car serviced. And I was shopping around trying to figure out, did I want to buy me something? I did find the cutest little yeah, I guess we'll call it a charm, with a necklace. I couldn't bring myself to buy it, y'all. Other than that, I couldn't think of anything because the Lord has given me all I need and I don't want to buy something just to buy it. I don't want to be that person anymore I once was. And that's why I'm still eight years later, later trying to declutter things. I'm determined to really go back into my declutter and share with you guys going back to my I'm gonna say 24 because we're in 2024 finding 24 items to declutter anyhow y'all I hope you have a great day I choose to put God first and that helps me remember today is gonna be what you make of it the choices you make the attitude you decide to have thank you for watching I love you and I'll see you next time